that time of year, from here until eternity now, it is cold and flu season. <laughs> Today we're going to try to see if we can mock up the motor. And to do so, I gotta put the motor mounts back in. Now we're not, you know, putting them in properly by any means. The most important thing about doing any build is your bucket of random bolts. Do we know what they're from? No. Do we care? Nah. Back to the nuts view. Oh. Now, I found one that'll probably be as far as it goes. Oh, oh, oh. You do not fit at all. I got the one on top of the piece. Sweet Jeebus. I don't know what that's off of, but now it's off of that. We're not gonna pretend like I don't know where I put the other one. It's on the ground because it fell on your foot. That's right. I sore towed it. Oh, like it was meant. No, 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 get off that right point. Like it was meant. Yeah, da, 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 da. It's me again. All right, this is, uh, we're gonna open a box. Who knows what's inside? I do, it's motor mounts. Let's check it out though. Ooh, whoop, ooh, whoop. All right, let's get these figured out. Hey, there's a bunch of bolts and stuff I probably could have used. Actually, I didn't want to, I knew they were in there. Whoa. All right, so just putting um, the new motor mounts on the block. Here is one on the passenger side. Ew, very nice. Mm. Let's go around. And on this side, it goes right, cause y'all, we have this in the way, which I believe is just a temperature sensor. That's all it looks like. <sighs> temperature sensors are usually pretty delicate. It's only one way to really get them out, especially in an old block like this, is yeah, with something that's got more torque than most small cars on the road today. Lots of noise. Oh, look at that. Spins out just like it was. Yeah, that's definitely a temperature sensor. So we're in the clear there. I'd like to plug this hole, even though. Now we can kind of get an idea what the water jackets look like. See in there? Oh, aluminum blocks, eh? Jeez. Let me see if I've just got a little something to plug that for the meantime. And if not, we'll just bolt the uh, motor mount over top and pretend like it's not there. Executive decision on my part, it doesn't matter. So we're just gonna put the new motor mount on. Let me collect my bolts. Here's the bolts, come on. We'll take two, three, and four. Here is the driver's side. You know how I know it's the driver's side? Right there. She got the D. I'm assuming that means driver's side. And here is a technical, probably the most helpful tool you'll ever have when working by yourself and trying to film. It's called the knee belizer. Here we go. We put the old knee on there. Line up our holes-ish. Holes-ish. Come on, holes-ish. No, come on, knee. I need a new knee belizer. There we go. Now, since this isn't an actual running engine that's going in, I'm going to snug these, obviously, with something more than my fingers afterwards, but... That's all we really need for right now. Ta-da! There. Perfect. Huh. Now to snug those down, flip the engine over, this time purposefully, not just on its own like it likes to, and we'll see where she goes in here. And then I've got to get a transmission housing to see where we go to there. On. It's sitting on that tire. Well, I don't want to take this engine. I'm just taking the, the boom. Yes, but it is kind of attached. No, nope, it's off. Isn't it? Nope. Oh, Mark left it attached. Well, I thought it was a bolted story. And I 
failed parallel parking on my drive. On this side, anyway. I don't know what that yep, side looks that like. Yeah, that side just—it needs to come down, but we'll get the mountain on this side first. Okay. <coughs> Pretty good. Almost. Once again, I know I'm putting the washer on the wrong side, and that it's not a log washer, and all that kind of stuff that it's supposed to be doing properly. But you know what? The engine's in there. So it's gonna be an interesting day today. Lots to do, a uh, bit of running around town, getting stuff ready. It's starting to get cold around here. <laughs> Definitely been calling for some snow and plenty of rain. So what I wanna do is I wanna get the old girl loaded up on the trailer today. We're not gonna bring it anywhere. We're just gonna leave it back here, but that's one less step to have to deal with when it starts getting super cold. All we have to do is hook back up to the trailer and get it down to the shop. I'm just waiting for my buddy Jeff to show up. We've been friends since high school when he tried to light my hair on fire and I can always count on him to give me a hand. So I'm just gonna wait for him, get a bit organized and then we're gonna go from there. But in the meantime, what I'll do is I'm gonna give you a little bit of history about the car. We picked this up in Sudbury uh, about five or six years ago. I had originally headed down there to buy a two door, but then when I got there, I realized that it was in horrible shape. Um, and it just wasn't gonna be worth what we wanted to do with it, which at the time we really weren't sure what we were gonna do with it. But then I saw this one sitting a couple cars down and I thought to myself, hmm, it's in way better shape. So I gave Tim a call and I asked him, what do you think? It's cheaper, we don't have to hunt for any more parts and, uh, and it, I, it's just as easy to load up. So that's what we did. And the seed was set for the project that we're working on now, but it's taken all this time to finally get to this point. I haven't opened this up in years. So the basic idea is we're gonna pull the seats out. We're gonna have to probably cut the tunnel out too, to fit everything in. Just froze the shut. That'll be fun to get open, but overall, I mean, I can't complain. It's in really good shape. There's some rust here and there that we'll have to fix, of course, but I mean, with any rack rod, that's what you expect. We've got a little bit of crap down here that we're gonna have to figure out how to fix. Good quality hit. Good morning, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Irritated as usual. Oh, that's always good. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna do set this down on here. Let's see if my idea works. It might not be perfect, but I think it'll have to do. Okay, I'm gonna start giving this a tighten. Yeah. Just keep an eye yep. on that. Let's see. Yep. Oh, I remember when we brought this back the last time. It was a pain finding an anchor point. I didn't destroy things. I'll find something to put under it later. Okay, one.
Now, it's always important. <laughs> that's not going anywhere. <laughs> like Tim says, if you don't do that, all your stuff flies all off. Your <laughs> all right, so the car is all loaded up. Now it's off to do a little hunt up at my parents' house to see if I can find some headers off of my dad's Camaro that might fit the LS that we're putting in the car. I'm not sure if we'll have any luck, but you know what? If we can find them and they do fit, there's some money saved. There's the charger hanging out. I think this is where it's Christmasing this year, or wintering, I should say. Oh. I do believe that they are tucked away somewhere in this car. Just make sure I don't smash my shins all over the place. <clears throat> oh, no. I think that's them hanging on the wall. It'd be a bit of a trick to get in there, but I'll do it. So there we go, got them out, load them up. So Gary, what do you think of the jewel sitting in your driveway? Oh, yeah, it's a jewel Over here, right. look at it. See how nice that is? I always love one of those, especially with the bend on the foot. Ah! Ah! There you go. Ah! I am very strong. <laughs> What a terrible Hans and Franz impression. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see what's going on here. Tim's got this mounted up. Give us an idea of kind of where we need things to be. What we want to do now is just throw the transmission on quickly and then we'll uh, just kind of see where everything rests. Need a block of wood. Get this up and on. Okay, another day done. We're all finished. Jeff, thanks for the help. You're welcome. No problem. Everyone, thanks for watching. Make sure to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen so you can keep up on all the antics that we're up to. I'm sure there'll be lots more fun to come. Thanks.